Okay, what I got here is a KitchenAid uh, microwave. Um, this is one of the custom on uh, custom on uh, customer on Craigslist. Uh, give me this, okay? And here's whatever information, model number. Uh, I don't know if it show it clearly, okay? Uh, on this microwave, uh, she told me that uh, she told me that uh, what happened is she cleaned the microwave. And then uh, after that, it stopped working. So I'm gonna uh, try to troubleshoot this one. Um, I think I remember somebody told me that uh, first thing you want to do is check for the switch. Okay. So I got this thing here lay on top of this one. Um, one of the customer Craigslist gave me this too. And um, um, this one here, he told me it have a door problem. Okay. It's a pan Panasonic. Uh, the door just won't stay shut, so the microwave don't work when the door open. Okay, I'm gonna see what's going on. So I, so I plug it in just just for test. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, press start, and as you can see, um, as you can see, nothing happened. The plate is not turning. You don't hear the fan um, running or uh, anything like that. Okay. So, uh, that's, what, uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to open this up and uh, find out what's going on, okay? So, first thing, first thing you need to do is unplug this, okay? After you unplug it, I'm going to go, I'm going to turn this around, go on the back side, and, um, and see um, how I'm going to take this off. Okay, when I turn to the back side, I notice it looked like somebody had already been in this microwave because um, the screws are missing, okay? Um, the only two screws that they left is this on the side here. And it's a Philip. So, you know, it's really easy. All I have to do is take it out. Like so, okay. And then there's one on this side. Okay. So I'm going to put this. Alright, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to try to slide this out. So, oh, this one come out really easy. That side. And then these things are held together by clips. So I'm going to slide it out. Now, get that removed. Okay, so let me take a look at the inside, okay? So, I, I think it's one of the switch when you don't have a, a fan running like that. Okay. But I'm after the switch, uh, this one right, right here on the bottom, okay? Uh, usually this is the one um, that is bad. Now, as you see the one on here, when I, uh, when I push it open, you see how how that latch move up and down, that press, that rear switch right there. Okay, this is the top one, and then the middle one, uh, you know, you can see it right there. You see how that thing move up and down? And then the, the bottom one, you see that rear button? Okay, you're pushing on it, okay? So, I think it's, it's this one right here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this microwave um, to the side where I easily accessible to that switch, and I'm, I'm gonna take that off. Uh, well, um, um, when you work on these, it's better you take out the plate. That way it won't, you know, bang it around when you position the microwave. Okay, so here's the plate for it. I just took it out. Okay, so I just turned the, um, the microwave uh, like so, so I can, you know, clearly show you how I take the switch off. Okay, um, so this is the bottom switch right here. Uh, there's a tap down here. See, let me zoom in. Okay, that, that white tap right there. All you do is push down on it with the screwdriver. Let me see if I can do it right. Okay. Screwdriver in one hand. Uh, I push that tab down. Okay, now with the other hand, what you want to do is rotate this that way. Toward the screwdriver, okay. See how that thing just pop out, like so. 
okay and and um, on this side you, know, you see that hole right there but that hole right there there's a white looking raw looking okay that's gonna be your pivot point okay so I'm gonna take this out and um, I'm gonna pull this out because I already took this out so it's probably easy to pull out but for a first time you probably have to wiggle it a little bit to get it out okay so here's the switch for the kitchen a um, microwave there you go okay so there is all your information that uh, this uh, number here you probably go search on that okay um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna test this switch out Okay, so um, what I got here is uh, the one coming off the uh, kitchen a, uh, the, the switch coming off the kitchen a, okay, and what I got here is the one coming off a Viking microwave, okay. So basically, I'm gonna test to see if the switch is uh, any good. So um, the way I do it, I hook on these uh, the meter right here, okay. So. Um, so I want to see if when I push this button is there any electricity going through it basically it's going to close the circuits and it's going to supposed to tell me the circuits is is uh, closed or complete the circuits okay so this button here is like simulate when you um, close the door okay it will push in okay as you see nothing happened and, and I just I just use this alligator clip as a jumper okay so I, I hook on a terminal there okay you can see the big picture okay so basically when I close the door nothing happened see that when I close the door when I push this button simulate the door closed uh, the microwave door closed and nothing happened okay so now I'm gonna I'm gonna hook those two alligator clip to this switch to see if uh, if they're any different Okay, so I hooked this to a, uh, this is a Viking um, uh, uh, microwave oven uh, door uh, switch here. So when I push this, and pay attention to that, okay, when I push this, the number should jump in some type of order. See how the number jump when I push it? Simulate the door close. And then when I let go, it go back to one. But this is how you test the switch, right? So basically, it's just an on and off switch. Uh, when you close the door, simulate push this red button, and electricity is supposed to go through, and that tell the microwave that hey, the door is closed. You can uh, start heat up the food now. Okay, basically that that this this uh, this switch that's what this for is pretty much a safety feature. Okay, so now I know that switch is bad. Uh, I'm gonna switch to this one. Uh, because uh, pretty much all the parameter pretty much match okay uh, and so um, I'm gonna put this back on and see if it working uh, get that kitchen a microwave working again okay so after I test it and then uh, decide to use this one because it's good this is off the Viking microwave okay um, basically I'm just gonna snap this thing in and make sure it's in all the way okay and to put it in, all you do is see that pivot rod right there? Put it in that hole. And um, basically what you want to do is uh, put the switch right on top of that tap where I pushed down earlier. And press it down and then rotate it and snap in like that. Okay? That's how you put it. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this microwave, um, um, you know, position where I can put on the... Uh, cover back on and I'm gonna test this microwave okay okay so to slide this cover on basically you put the top one like that on the side it's gonna open up like that um, easy for me of course it's be easier to hand right but basically what I do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put this flat and I'm gonna slide this side in first okay Okay, after I got in on this side, you see the top is not all the way in yet. On this side here, what I do is, what I do is, is I take my finger and I push it back a little bit. Because when you push it back, the back of it will rise up, right? And this will allow you to align the rest of the tab 
in okay once you got it in then now you can do this with one hand I right? slide all the way in like so now what I do I'm put the two screw back okay so after I put the uh, screw back in okay remember this microwave didn't come with all the screw all they give me is two so what I'm gonna do after I put the screw in what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this um, plate back in so this this right here is have a little notch it look like look like the umbrella okay so basically I'm gonna, I'm gonna place it in and uh, I'm gonna turn it until it's settled down like that look like it's settled all the way in now I'm gonna slide the plate in same thing, make sure it's in there like so. And uh, I'm gonna plug this microwave in, I'm gonna test it. Okay, so what I do, I put a, a little glass of water in there, I'm gonna test this microwave, okay? So the key thing is I wanna test to see if that thing turned, because before it wasn't turning. Number two is try to see if it heat up the water, okay? So put it in, set it, uh, set about one minute, and I'm gonna press start. Ooh, there you go. Okay, now let me see it. But uh, in there, see how the cup turning? Okay, the microwave running. Uh, and I'm gonna wait for one minute to find out if, if it's gonna heat up the water. Okay, yes, about done. It's done. So I'm gonna open it. See? Yep. Water is hot. Uh, I, guess, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I can see uh, steam coming out of it. Okay, so, so uh, yeah, it's steam. Yeah, it's hot. I, I can feel it. Okay, so that's how you fix a microwave. Okay, uh, before you throw it out, uh, check out that switch. Um, you know, uh, it's a simple switch. I don't know how much it is because I'm using the switch from a different microwave that have a same uh, a similar uh, similar switch with the same voltage on there okay so um, I mean that's how I, I fix this microwave okay thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day bye